time to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Patrick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Castle Black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. 
You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Actually, I'd like to volunteer. Hmm. You just want to serve the realm, is that it? Yes, sir. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. You're a bad liar. Got it, Tuttle. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You lied to me the first chance you got. You'll fit in well here. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. He's a Had a run in with Walder Frey. He's leaning yeah. on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Foresters are cursed. But who gives a toss? Real Don't shame about your, your leg now. What a disgrace to his house. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. Oh. 
Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like wine guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss... Maester, it's time to light the Ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him, and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You 
will do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later.